In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to use the Sky Replacement Tool. It's available for users of PowerDirector 365 and owners of PowerDirector version 20. We'll show you a couple of examples and then a bit about using this tool. To get started, click on the Plugins menu in the upper left corner. You'll see the drop-down, then choose AI Sky Replacement. We'll pop up a screen with four sections. The first section is the source of the video, where you want to replace the sky. The second is all the options that you have. You cannot add to these or subtract from them. The third is a preview window, and the fourth is a bunch of slider controls. So first of all, we need to find a video with some sky in it, so I'll click on my button that says Import Video. I can choose something from my media room. Here I'll go to my hard drive, and I'll take this clip and click on it, and it pops it in, and I see it in preview mode. And so what I'm going to do now is play it, and you see that basically I have a video with some ambient audio. I'll turn that down. And what we have is a blue and white sky. It's very indistinct. Let's see, I'd like something a little sharper to be there. How do I do that? We'll stop it. I can take any of these here and click on them and they will do a sky replacement. The instructions remind us that this works best when you have minimal camera movement on your original video. I don't have a lot on this one, so it's a good candidate. The thing they don't tell you is it also works best when the colors in, this, in the option that you choose on the left are closely matched the one on the right. Now let's click on this and see what happens. Now that's not too bad. We have a darker blue and we have fluffy clouds. You notice we do have a little bit of action going on around the trees. Now very irregular shapes like trees are not very friendly to this tool. The best thing to do is to have a horizon that's a long ways away with a distinct edge. But we can do some adjustment on that. We'll show you that in a moment. You can actually move the slider anywhere you want in the project and it will rethink that particular frame and apply that particular option. To change to a different one, all you need to do is click on it. It will recalculate, and now I have a different background. We can you choose from a bunch of sky scenes, a, a bunch of, I would call, sunrise, sunset, very intriguing scenes. We have some that I would call pastels that we can use on the left side. Then we have some space ones a nebula here. And then we also have some the, that are with lightning. I'm going to click on this one and we're going to see one of the issues that rise when we use this tool. What you're actually doing is you're replacing a moving sky for a static sky. And when you render this, what you're going to see is not lightning coming and going. You're going to see this particular lightning bolt here forever. So you have to understand that right now we can't have a motion sky replaced with a motion sky. These are still images. It's very cool, but still it's limited. And once again, the more the colors are different from the other elements you have, the harder it is to blend them. But they do give you some tools to help. Let's look at those. First of all, we have a feather tool. I'm going to take the feather and drag it pretty much to the right you're going to see this is going to improve quite a bit the area around the trees otherwise they look white and when the video is playing they come out kind of electric then we have this land ambient tool what's that all about the farther you move it to the right you more, more you get the colors that come from whatever sky overlay you're using the more you move it to the left you more you get your colors from your original video let's move this quite a bit to the right and we'll show you the contrast See, it darkens out the colors here because we have dark colors 
in our uh, clip that we added to it. If I go back to the left a little bit more, we're going to see more of the original colors of the tree, but we also have a lot more going on between the trees and the sky in the background. You also have a position X and position Y. And the position X is grayed out. What's going on? I can move the Y value. Let me drag just a little bit to the right here. And we see I've moved the Y value up. The, the lightning is a slightly different place than it was before. And it's moving higher as I move it to the right. We have some up and down movement because these aren't rectangles that go sideways. They are rectangles that are longer from top to bottom. So I have some area to move on the Y. I have no margin to move on the X. If I do want to do that, I have to increase the scale. So let's scale this up just a little bit. And now I can also move on the X value, the X axis. Now I can move the lightning to the right as I move this to the left. So you have to uh, magnify this in order to have any opportunity to move on the X axis. The Y axis, you have a little bit of mobility. And you can take any of this and you can enlarge it and then move both of them right or left quite a bit to change the way in which this looks. So you have lots of variations. When you're done, you click on Transform Video. And you can set it in and out point as well. I want a very short video of just a few particular frames or maybe just a second or two. I can set my in marker. I can move and I can set my out marker. And when I click on Transform, the video will only be the duration of my in and outs. It won't be the entire clip. So you can modify it that way. So when you're done, you click on Transform. It will take that clip. It takes a while, especially if you have a modest CPU in your system. Mine took 8 minutes plus to render 3 minutes and 10 seconds. The better your processor, the less frustrating this tool will be. And then it puts it in the media room, so you can take it and drop it into a timeline anywhere you want and use it in your current project, save it for a future project. So that's what's available when you look at the options for you, when you're looking at the Sky Replacement Tool in PowerDirector 365 or PowerDirector 20.